All right, you astute and intrepid learners. We have covered a lot of ground in our course about human rights. And in this lesson, we're just going to do a quick review of how it's all related, because we've covered a lot of topics. First of all, first off, we kind of covered the connection between human rights and how it relates to law. So we talked a little bit about what law is, how that works. We then from that moved into the relationship between rights and duties. So if you remember a right is something that you are inherently owed and a duty is basically the opposite of that. It's something that you owe someone else or that your society owns someone else. So remember this in your life going forward that you have rights but you also have duties. It means that you have things, obligations that you need to do to make human rights happen. From here we moved a little bit into our three dimensions, so I'm just going to call them the three D's. You've heard the word enough, you know what we're talking about at this point. And in this we talked about the three different levels. So first one being uh, liberty. So remember we had our little shortcut from the French Revolution, liberty, equality, and fraternity. And each of those having their actual real name, so the names that we just gave there are their sort of nickname, bridge, remember sort of thing, the way you can remind yourself of what they mean, but the first dimension being civil and political. We talked quite a bit about that in one lesson. The next one being economic. social and cultural. So we've got those rights there. And then the last one, three, being our collective rights. And you'll remember all the details of how they work if you go back and watch the videos. Now, we talked then, and actually kind of sprinkled between all the different things that we learned, we talked about the different types of documents that are sort of capturing how this all works. So we have our documents here. I'm just going to call them docs. And we had three different main types, the ones that we talked about quite a lot. We'll start with treaty, because that's probably the most binding, really. But it can be used interchangeably. So in the same way as the word covenant. These are both quite binding and quite um, means that they are essentially that they are law. So I can actually draw a line between law over here, little dotted line, and sort of highlight those two. And then I would say we'd need to definitely add declarations here as well declarations being not law, but recommendations that inspire law or inspire action. So declarations are also very important. We also discussed, and not in too much detail, so we're going to do it a little bit here, we discussed the question of agents. So who is doing all this? You could also call them actors, and in some cases you could even call them watchdogs, and that's kind of the term that we'll use here. There are lots of different types of organizations that are looking out for rights, that are monitoring rights on the three different dimensions, and they kind of can be organized into big levels. So we have the global level, we have the regional level, so this might be for a continent or a part of a continent, a big group of countries. We then have the national level, so your country might have some big organizations that look out for the human rights of people in that country. You also might have a local organization, so in your community or maybe for your region of your country. And then, I think the most important person in this whole, or the most important level in this whole thing is you, because there's also the individual level. 
you as an individual play an important role in the future of human rights and how human rights are enacted in your community because we've sat and thought about human rights for quite a while now I'm not sure how many minutes the videos add up to but it's quite enough and the question is what are we doing now what are we going to do with all of this information that we have about human rights and all these understandings that we've developed well I'm going to start by making three recommendations and then we're going to ask for your input as well so first of all we would say maybe it's a good thing to go through and make sure that you completely understand your rights so go through and read the different documents that we've linked in this course read beyond that and also while you're doing it don't think just about rights but think about duties as well you want to think about these duties these responsibilities that you have as a human and think about what they mean for you and your daily life and the way that you behave and the way that you act and all that kind of stuff and one way that you might act is to talk about human rights talking about rights is kind of a hard thing to do particularly in some places but it's important and it also can be done in a way that's respectful and can help people in your community in the future and help you even right now so talk about rights talk about them at home talk about them at work and talk about them when you feel it's appropriate and the last thing I would maybe recommend or maybe that our team would recommend is to ask for more education you can do this in schools you can do this in your place of work or you can do this even in your community knowledge center like maybe a like a library or maybe a computer lab any place where learning is happening maybe ask the instructors is there any way that we can add more human rights instruction to our coursework or to the things that we're learning because this is an important part of moving forward so those are three ideas but there's a lot more that one could do so before you leave our course before you move on to do all the other great things you'll do please just drop us a line and tell us what you think you can do about human rights and how you're going to do it all right so that was your course about human rights here at allversity.org we are so glad that you've been able to take this journey with us and we're really excited that you've been following along please go out do good things and be sure to remember that human rights are for everyone